So I'm in absolute medical crisis. And literally, I have no, I, I really don't know what's happening to me. I think I'm dying. I don't fully understand that I'm in withdrawal. I, I can't believe that withdrawal can be this life-threatening and just multi-systemic and life-threatening and a, just a, a complete medical crisis nonstop, 24 hours a day. I, I literally can't comprehend that this could be withdrawal from a medication and I need a doctor to tell me this because how could this be, be that bad? And, um, so I'm, I'm, I can barely walk. I can barely hold my body weight. I, uh, I can't stand at a bus stop for longer than two minutes. I'm sitting on, on the street, um, trying to find a family doctor. I'm in this condition and hysterical and well, not hysterical, terrified and traumatized and stopping breathing and, um, low oxygen. And, but I didn't understand that at the time. And, uh, I didn't understand, you know, anyways, so I'm, I'm literally trying to get myself around to find a, a doctor, to find out what's happening, to find out what's going on. Doctor after doctor, they thought I was delusional. They didn't think I could be in acute withdrawal. They didn't think this could possibly with, be withdrawal, withdrawal from the benzo. Um, I was being tested for myasthenia gravis, uh, Parkinson's, all, all sorts of different things. And, uh, I was being told I was delusional. I was being told I was mentally ill. I was being told my symptoms weren't happening. My nervous system was like this inside my hands and feet, my chest, my gut, um, my brain. Uh, I was crying at times and trying to modulate my behavior. So I didn't push the doctors away. So I didn't frighten the doctors because I quickly understood that they couldn't see, they couldn't visually see the distress I was in. All they could see was the emotional, you know, what was coming out of my mouth in words and my emotional distress. Um, no one could help me. No one understood what was happening. They were telling me you need a psychiatrist. Uh, I was t being told you're not stopping breathing. You're not, you don't have apnea which I later proved that I have severe apnea. Um, uh, just nonstop, it, it, just a horror story. I was being told I, I was an addict. I, doctors thought I was trying to manipulate them for drugs, trying to get drugs out, out of them. I was, you know, go, ending up in the ER back and forth. ER doctors thinking I'm trying to manipulate them for drugs. And I'm telling all these doctors, I have all sorts of drugs at home. I don't want drugs. I want you to help me. I want you to give me answers. I want you to tell me what's happening to me. They couldn't comprehend that this was withdrawal. This was acute medication withdrawal. They, some doctors thought I was faking it. Some doctors thought, you know, they thought this was mental illness. We have doctors prescribing these powerful, life-threatening drugs and they don't know what acute withdrawal looks like or sounds like or the symptoms of acute withdrawal and they literally don't know how to get us off of these medications that they have pr prescribed for decades beyond the prescribing guidelines. So I'm, I'm calling all over, I'm calling all over my city looking for an addictions doctor. I'm not an addict. I'm looking for, calling around looking for addictions doctors because maybe they might have more knowledge of what could possibly be happening to me. Why can't I get off of this? I then moved to a micro taper to little pieces and, you know, reduce the amount as small as possible and then even demanded and begged, and that was a fight for my life, begged and fought for a prescribed micro taper from 
a uh, a pharma a specialized pharmacy who could you know make me special pills to reduce to reduce the pills to micro doses to micro off of the medication and even with a micro taper i was in absolute medical crisis my throat was closing my diaphragm was stopping i was Every time I reduced it a teeny amount, I was in absolute medical crisis. They wouldn't hospitalize me. They didn't know what to do. They were afraid of me. Some of them were empathetic. And the empathy quickly turned to get away from me. I don't know how to help you. I don't know what to do for you. You're, you're in emotional crisis. You're terrified. Get away from me. I had doctors threatening me. I had, I had, uh, you know, it got ugly. It got terrifying. I was at high risk for being locked up. I was at high risk for being force medicated. This is the story. This is what I want to tell you. This is how, how ironic and literally insane this situation got. There's an addic 